dividing ones by 10. If we chop the number one into 10 equal pieces, each piece is going to be less than one. We can see this using the place value chart. Every time we move a digit one place to the right, we are dividing by 10. If we move the digits in 100 one place to the right, we divide 100 by 10 and get 10. Now we don't need the zero in the tenths column so we can get rid of that. It isn't wrong to have a zero there, we just don't need it to understand what number we have, so it looks tidier if we take it out. If we move the digits in 10 one place to the right, we divide by 10 to get 1. And again, we can remove the zero from the tenths column. When we move the digit 1 one place to the right, we divide 1 by 10. The 1 is now in the tenths column and we put a zero in the empty ones column just to make it easier to see what number we have. And we can see that 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. There are 10 0 0.1s in 1. We have chopped 1 into 10 equal bits and each piece is worth 0 0.1. And 10 0 0.1s add up to 1. OK. Let's find a tenth of three. Every time we move a digit one place to the right, we are dividing by 10. So, to find one tenth of three, we move the three one place to the right, from the ones column to the tenths column. We put a zero in the empty ones column to show it's now empty. So one tenth of three, or three divided by 10, is 0 0.3. Finding a tenth of 5 is the same as saying 5 divided by 10. To divide by 10 we move the digits one place to the right. So to divide 5 by 10 we move it one place to the right. We fill the ones column with a zero just so it's easier to see what number we have and find that 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. Let's find a tenth of 6, which is the same as saying 6 divided by 10. To divide 6 by 10, we move it one place to the right, put a 0 in the 1's column. 6 divided by 10 is 0 0.6. To find 1 tenth of 9, we move the 9 one place to the right and we can see that 9 divided by 10 or 1 tenth of 9 is 0 0.9. Try some fractions problems next.